Recall that we have at least two ways in which we can deal with stressful situations. One is problem-focused coping and the other is emotion-focused coping. Recall that with problem-focused coping, we look for strategies to solve the problem and therefore reduce our stress. With emotion-focused coping, we look at ways in which we can reduce the negative emotional response that we experience to stress. Now we discussed a variety of emotion-focused coping responses. Social support is one way in which we can reduce the negative emotional responses that we feel in regards to stress. Therefore, talking with friends or family about stressful situations or predicaments in which we find ourselves can go a long way in reducing our overall stress levels. This, in turn, we know is important for our overall brain health and immune system functioning. Therefore, we want to avoid long-term exposure to stress because we know cortisol has a negative effect on the hippocampus and our immune system functioning. Now we're going to move on and see how stress affects our health and Greg's going to introduce that topic for us.